the world turns its attention to the conflict raging between Israel and the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon, Palestinians in Gaza are slipping out of focus. Also diminishing are the already dim prospects for a ceasefire, almost a year into a war that continues to shatter the enclave and the lives of those in it. On Thursday, local medics reported at least 99 Palestinian deaths in the past 24 hours. That includes an Israeli strike on a school compound sheltering displaced Palestinian families in central Gaza on Wednesday. Among the wounded were several children, including this baby. The Israeli military said the strike was aimed at a Hamas command center embedded in the compound that used to be a school. Both Israel and Hamas say the Lebanon conflict could help end the Gaza war. Sami Abu Zuri, a senior Hamas official, said it could lead to pressure on Israel to strike a ceasefire deal, which would see the release of Israeli hostages held in Gaza and Palestinians jailed by Israel. But others are doubtful. Nomi Bayakov, an expert on Middle East diplomacy, told Reuters Israel is now focused on trying to dismantle Hezbollah's military arsenal. That means it's had to put the ceasefire in Gaza on the back burner. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said on Wednesday that the United States is still focused on securing a ceasefire and blamed the Palestinian group for stalling the talks. And Hamas has refused to engage. In August, Hamas officials and Western diplomats said new Israeli demands to keep troops in Gaza were holding up negotiations. An official briefed on the Gaza ceasefire talks told Reuters nothing would happen until after the U.S. presidential election on November the 5th. That's because no one can, quote, effectively pressure Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, whom the official called the key impediment to a Gaza ceasefire deal. The official, who requested their name and nationality be withheld, also said Hezbollah wanted the ceasefire proposal floated during last week's UN General Assembly to be linked to a ceasefire deal in Gaza. But Israel rejected this and the plan was dropped. Top Israeli officials publicly dismissed the idea of a quick ceasefire with Hezbollah. Meanwhile, at a funeral in Khan Yunus on Wednesday for some of the dozens of Gazans killed in an overnight strike, this woman called the death of a baby niece the biggest message to the world. A child sleeping in the arms of her mother, she said. What can I say? The whole world is asleep. Nobody cares about us or is even looking at our faces.